This is Wayne Viner with Terp Talk. A frequent guest on our Terp Talk post games has been Ty Johnson. Last time I saw you was in the hallway uh, under Ford Field. How have things been going for you since the bowl game? You know, it's been going good, you know, it's getting better and, you know, learning my playbook even more, being conceptually sound and, you know, keeping my weight up, you know, and just staying healthy. Good. You've been working on that with Rick Court? Yes, sir. You know, Coach Court's been putting me through it in the summer, you know, making sure I'm getting stronger as well as the other guys and, you know, making sure we're ready to go for camp. So I've been watching the Twitter feeds, BTN, all this, and your name keeps coming up, and I'm not surprised. Are you? Man, I'm surprised because um, I don't get on Twitter all that much. So when I see a whole bunch of like likes and retweets, I'm like, what's this about? Like, oh, what I do now? So, um, you know, I'm definitely surprised because uh, I kind of keep to myself. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a surprise seeing all that. Well, it's good to see anybody watch the games. I mean, when you watch all of them and you see you go for 60 or 70 yards, you almost go, oh, it's again. But apparently at the national level, seeing you take off like that's really turned some heads. you have any comments on that? No, I mean, it's just making sure I work hard. You know, last season is last season. You know, um, I'm focused on the here and now and making sure I can contribute to the team any way possible. If it's not running the ball, it, it can be in the pass game, blocking, special teams. You know, I'm just worried about the here and now and trying to contribute to the team. It's a good answer. Good answer. Trip Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting, your source for point of sale systems that give you business control and manager inventory. Hardware, software, training, and support from NCR and Revel Systems. Call Viner Consulting at 301-251-2900 or visit us at oneviner.com. What you, you got over the new Cole Field House. What did you think? Did it live up to your expectations? Oh, uh, beyond my expectations. You know, um, it's a game changer. You know, it's going to help us get better. It's going to help with recruiting. It's helping with the university. And, you know, it's just like it's a land. It's going to be a landmark at the University of Maryland. When you think the landmark of uh, University of Maryland, you want to say Cole Fieldhouse, not only because of basketball, but because of the new facility. And, you know, it's just a, a great moment for us. It's, you know, turning a new chapter in, uh, you know, Maryland football under Coach Durkin. And, you know, it's going to do a lot for us. How old were you when Maryland played their last basketball, real basketball game there in 2002? 2002? Oh, hmm. I was five years, wait, mm, six years old. So I guess you don't remember ever seeing a basketball game there? No, I've never seen a basketball game there, so it, it's rough, but you know, I've seen little highlights and everything, so. It's just strange going there for basketball for most of half of my life to see it be a football facility, but I'm happy they kept it. Uh, what Do you know what the next plans are and how many practices you're going to actually be able to use Cole for? I'm not too sure. Um, you know, it's all up to Coach Durkin, you know, so um, I got to show up kind of. Um, so I show up and, uh, you know, if they say we're going to the indoor practice field, then we're going there. But, um, you know, we got to see it already and, like, do a little workout in there. So, you know, it's all up to Coach Durkin and uh, what he wants to do, you know. All right, well, thanks for being on Turf Talk and good luck in this next campaign. I want a good life every good night, you're a high one